o'clock, guys. Thanks for coming and joining me. We'll be going through a light, gentle yoga flow with some stretching. Just double check that you did mute yourself, and then when you're ready, you can release yourself onto your back. As we always start our practice in our Shavasana, option to extend the leg down the mat. Maybe going into a bent knee position. Our soles defeated, letting those knees fall all the way wide. Arms can be long down by the sides, wide or in a cactus position, or always option to lift above head as well, getting a bit more opening in the shoulders, belly, the chest. Tilt the head back slightly, keep a nice open throat. Cleansing breath, inhale through that nose, open the mouth and try and sigh the mouth up, breath out the mouth. <sighs> Closing mouth, soften the face. We'll start to enter our Uja Pranayama ocean sounding breath. Trying your best to stick with this throughout your entire practice. Keeping your mouth closed. Allowing a slow four second inhale through the nose. You hold pause at the top, breath at the back of the throat. Exhaling for a slow four second release out the nose. And holding that pause at the base. giving yourself a bit of time. We want to be fully connected to our breath. Any stress, anxious feelings, breathing into it and letting it go. Giving yourself a light shake out, one at a time. As you inhale, lift your knees into your chest. Hug the knees in, so wrap those arms around those shins, tuck, and start to rock yourself side to side through the lower back glutes, and maybe taking those knees now into a nice circular motion out and into the chest. Back in center on the mat, pulling your knees wide towards those shoulders, staying here, or flex the feet and move it into that happy baby. Grab onto the ankles, the feet, wherever you can reach. Knees wide, feet lifted, give it two deep breaths. Legs straight up to the sky. Open those arms in the cactus position. Elbows wide with shoulders, palms open. Give those feet a nice point and flex. And option to go into some circular ankle rolls, little circular motion side to side. And let's bend those knees all the way to 90. Knees bent. Option to keep knees side by side for your twist. If you want to twist deeper, cross that right knee over left. Inhale, let the knees tuck in the chest. Exhale, float those knees down the left. And if you're comfortable with it with the neck, gaze can fall to the right. If you want to deepen that twist, left hand, grab onto legs, thighs, and give it a little extra pull. Being cautious of that right shoulder if it is lifting off the mat. Inhale, let those knees slowly float center, head center, uncross legs, and give yourself a little rock side to side, releasing any tension. Knees in center, bent at 90. Option to let left knee cross over the right. Inhale, tuck knees to chest. Exhale, slow float down to the right. Option, floating your gaze left. 
and maybe adding in that right hand, palm grabbing onto the thigh, the knees, and deepening your twist. On the inhale, float that left arm, rolling body onto right side to enter fetal position. Feel free to uncross knees if it's comfortable for you. Option right arm long under the head as a pillow, or feel free to always use your left palm under the head and maybe taking that right hand to grab cup onto the ribs, feeling your breath. One more deep breath in fetal position. Set yourself a positive intention for your practice. Nice and safe on the lift. Use your palm if you can. Gently push the body. Grabbing anything if needed, water. And then let's meet ourselves in standing up near the top of your mat. We'll be starting by stepping those feet into Mountain Tadasana pose. Big toes in to touch or close. Small space between those heels, ground on the feet, all four corners. Stand tall, roll those shoulders up, back and down. Open your palms and keep a nice open throat. On the inhale, let's send those arms nice and wide to lift. Palms touch, light mini back bend, small arch. Exhale, fold down and through, body all the way down. We're now in standing forward fold. Inhale, lift, half lift, flatten the back, tuck the belly, and exhale, round your spine and fold forward. Once more, inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold and release. Palms on the mat, shoulder width apart, plank, pulse, step those feet back one at a time. You're in your plank, shoulders in line over your wrists, heels in line over toes, no sinking in lower back and belly tucked. We'll start with a slow level one vinyasa flow by using our knees. Let the knees lower. Option to untuck your toes, push your hips forward, take chaturanga. Exhale, bend elbows, keep them tucked in, flat back, lightly bring the full body down. Forehead is on the mat, elbows tucked in, baby cobra. Inhale, start with a nice light lift of the chest, squeeze the lower back and the legs. Exhale, float the forehead to the mat lightly. Baby cobra again, inhale, lift with the option to take your gaze over the right shoulder. Exhale, float lightly to the mat. Once more, inhale up, option gaze left. And exhale, release. Use your hands, use your knees, keep a flat back, push to the knees, tuck your toes under, and sit into your downward facing dog. Nice upside down V shape, push those heels to the mat. Use bent knees anytime you need, arms straight, fingertips spread wide. Heel toe, walk those feet all the way forward to your hands, or back and forward fold. Inhale, flatten your back. Exhale, fold it forward, reverse one back to standing, reach arms, inhale up, palms touch, open mini back bend. Exhale, bring hands to heart center, let the arms go long down by sides, and on your next inhale, sweep up. Palms touch, open in that nice open chest. Exhale, fold down and through, round your spine, drop the head. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold, palms to mat, step plank. This time you decide if you want to use your knees on mat or not. Here we go, chaturanga, exhale, bend. Inhale, float forward and up, baby cobra or up dog, hands on tops of feet on the mat. Exhale, roll over your toes and sit down, dog. High on your toes, bend in those knees, float your gaze forward. Option to walk, step or try to hover, jump your feet forward to your hands. Inhale for your flat back. Exhale, fold, reverse swan dive up, inhale, reach. Palms touch, arch back, mini back bend. Exhale, hands, heart center, arms long. And one more time here, inhale, lift. Palms touch, open. Exhale, full body all the way. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold level threes. You can jump to chaturanga from there, otherwise you step plank. 
and you take your time from there. Take that vinyasa flow and meet in downward facing dog when you're done. Flat back, pushing heels to mat. Inhale, lift high on toes, heels off the mat. And exhale, simply push those heels down. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. Three leg dog on the right. Inhale, send your right leg up. Open your hip, point your toes. High on left toe, slow knee to chest step through into runner's lunge. Front knee over ankle, float that left knee to mat. Low lunge, inhale, lift those arms straight over shoulders. Hips hinge forward, maintaining that flat back. Find your gaze and your balance and take one deep breath. Level ones, feel free to keep that back knee on the mat. Otherwise, option, back toes tucked. Float that left knee up and into your high crescent lunge. Now from here, peel from your elbows. So let those arms just slowly go down behind your back. Interlace your fingertips. Now try to inhale, roll your shoulders open. Level two, three, gaze up. Exhale, hinge forward. So level ones, you can do this without going too low. Level two, threes, we might try to bring that shoulder, belly towards that thigh, head down and arms lifted to the sky, opening in the shoulders. You can always bring your left knee to the mat if you need. Take one more deep breath. Now we're letting our fingertips come to the mat. Exhale, fingertips down. Level ones, you can float your left knee off the mat now. Walk your fingertips forward a couple inches. Power your back left leg up into standing splits. So the left leg is up now. Our hip is open, toes are pointed. You can always bend your knees or if you have a block, feel free to go hands on the block. Head is down, fold a bit deeper. Stay here or challenge that balance. One or two hands can hover off the mat, maybe grabbing on the ankle, maybe a quick hover hold or to heart center. If your hands did lift, let's go fingertips back, leg on the mat, slightly ahead of you. Walk your right fingertips forward so they're in line under your right shoulder. Flex your left foot, open up the left hip. Stay here, level once, hip open or move into balancing half moon. Left hand to the left hip or option left arm straight stacking in the shoulder. So you have the option just to stay with that open hip. Go at your own level. Let's give it one last deep breath. If your left arm is up to the sky, float those fingertips down and let's exhale, float left foot to meet the right foot and shake it out through those legs, hips in your forward fold. Double check that your feet are in a nice straight line. Float your arms back. And inhale, sweep them up to sky, sit into a quick chair pose. Bum down, reach those arms open, chest, one deep breath. And straighten your legs and exhale, fold your body forward. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, vinyasa flow. You can walk, step, or jump it into chaturanga. Exhale, inhale, baby cobra up dog. And exhale, roll over those toes and sit into your downward facing dog. Flat back, good left leg. Inhale, send it lifted, open. High on right toes, float that knee in and step through into that runner's lunge. Knee over ankle, first we're bringing that back knee to the mat, low lunge. Inhale, sweep arms up and let your body Hinge into it, get comfortable, find your balance for one deep breath. You can always stay here or back toes tucked. Option, float back right knee off mat. So we're now in our high crescent lunge. Peel from elbows, exhale, bend at the elbows, lower those hands down behind the back, interlace fingertips. Roll shoulders open, option gaze up, inhale, and exhale, 
start to fold your body forward. You can stop at any point in time, head down and option to reach those arms to the sky, rolling open in the shoulders. Giving yourself one more deep breath. And exhale, fingertips lightly bring them down. Now you'll be walking those fingertips forward a couple inches. We're bringing our back right leg up to standing splits, floating it up to the sky. Hip is open, toes are pointed, head is down. You can stay right here, or if you want to balance, give it a go. One, two hands off the mat. Fingertips back on mat if they left as we transition for balancing half moon. Flex foot, open hip, walk those left fingertips under the left shoulder area. Stay there or you can now move right hand to that right hip or straight up to the sky. Opening up that full side ball. So wherever you were, maybe in your down dog, walk it halfway up the mat, fold your body forward in a standing forward fold. Let that head hang all the way, again, bent knees anytime. Heel toe, walk those feet as wide as the mat now, keeping those feet in a nice straight line, place that left palm down, center of the mat, fingertips if you need, inhale, send your right arm lifted to the sky. Open the shoulder. Breathe, hold a little longer. And exhale, float that palm down, placing it center. Left arm, inhale, stretch up, open the shoulder. Gaze up if it can. One more breath. And exhale, release it lightly. Full body down. Inhale, take a nice flat. Back half lift with those feet still as wide as mat. And exhale, fold forward, release. Once more, inhale, lift, flatten, and tuck the belly. Exhale, fold it. Walk your hands forward, shoulder width apart. Option, step down, dog plank, or bend your knees, and leap jump into a chaturanga safely for a vinyasa flow. We're in our down dog, floating right leg to sky. Inhale, lift. High and left toes, bring that knee and chest and step it through into your runner's lunge position. From here, bring that left knee to the mat. We're gonna push our hips back, walk your fingertips back, moving into a half split Kanamanasana pose. Flex your front foot, so foot will be flat, toes up. Tuck those back toes under for support and let your head fold down towards your right knee, shin area. This might be an intense enough stretch for you, but if you have been working on your splits and you do wanna try and come a bit deeper, then we'll slowly shimmy ourselves deeper, walking your way there. Don't rush, and you're gonna have a few deep breaths here to do so. So up to you to stay, or to try and go deeper, always keep your hands on the mat unless you're fully released in your splits. An option to fold it forward. Full splits, if we went any deeper, we need to carefully come back, use those hands on the mat and safely try to drag yourself back in to that left knee in line under the hip. Walk your fingertips forward, bend that front knee, foot on mat, lift that left knee off mat, pivot your back foot parallel now, so back heel is to the mat, and prepare to lift to warrior two. Inhale, windmill up when you're ready. So the arms are straight with the shoulders, front knee bent over ankle, sitting yourself nice and tall and reaching those arms nice and straight. On the inhale, start to straighten your front leg, lift both arms up, inhale, palms can touch. Exhale, push warrior two, bend knee, reach arms. Keep front knee bent, inhale, 
Lift right arm to sky, side body open, exalted, and exhale back to warrior two. Start from the top, inhale, straighten that front leg, reach arms, lift, exhale, push, warrior two, keep knee bent, inhale, float right arm up, open side body, and exhale, arms back and lower shoulders. Two more, inhale, lift, straight legs, arm up, exhale, press, keep knee bent, inhale, open that side body, and exhale, back and lie with shoulder. One more, inhale, float up, exhale, push warrior two, knee bent, inhale, exalted, and exhale, arms back and lie with shoulders, option to maybe hold lower, last breath, we will windmill to the mat, back arm, left arm, inhale, sweep it forward, palms to mat, pivot on your back toes, inhale, right leg back and up, three leg dog, option, single leg vinyasa float, or let's snake it through together, high on those bottom toes, bend in those arms, sweep your body down across the mat, into up dog, both tops of feet on mat, and exhale, roll over those toes, and sit yourself into your down dog. Catch your breath with that heart rate lifted. Here we go, left leg, inhale, nice lift. High on toes, knee and chest, step it all the way through. You can always use your hand to help if you need. Knee over ankle, bring that back right knee to the mat. Half splits by pushing hips back. Push front foot forward if it's needed to flex the foot, toes up and gently fold yourself forward when you're ready to deepen that stretch. Left hamstring, calf, up to you if you're wanting to stay here or to go deeper in your stretch. You wanna push it deeper anytime you're ready. Carefully start to walk or shimmy your way into a full splits option. You have a few deep breaths. Full splits, bring those fingertips on mat and safely start to walk yourself back in to that half splits position. Fingertips forward, put that front left foot on the mat, double check knee over ankle, slow back knee up, pivot the back foot parallel and get ready, warrior two, inhale, windmill lifts with those arms and bending into that front knee and getting yourself adjusted. Start, inhale, string, front left leg, both arms up, palms touch. Exhale, push, warrior two, arms reach, knee bent, flip palms, inhale, open side body, exalted, and exhale, back in line for warrior two. From the top, inhale, straight leg, lift arm. Exhale, push, bend knee, knee bent, inhale, open, lift, exalted, and exhale, warrior two. Keep it up, inhale, lift, exhale, push, warrior two. Inhale, open left side body, and exhale, arm straight. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale, press, knee bend, inhale, lift side body, and exhale, warrior two for a one full breath hold. Arms, inhale, windmill that back arm forward. Put the palms on the mat, pivot on your back toes. Inhale, left leg back and up to sky. Release it if you need, or options, single leg or snake it high on back toes. Bend in elbows, float across mat into up dog, both tops of feet. And exhale, roll over those toes and sit into your downward facing dog. Mm. Walk, step, or jump those feet about halfway up the mat. You'll heel toe, walk your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Feel free to stay facing the front of your mat here. Pivot your toes out at a 45 degree angle, so a slight angle out as we'll take malasana. Bend your knees. Try to float your bum low to hover off the mat. If the heels are down and we're safe here, hands to heart center. Flat back, open chest. So if I was unable 
to get those heels grounded. You do have the choice to stay here, fingertips down, if you're comfortable with it, and if needed, level one option, bum on that, take it into that butterfly anytime. Otherwise, let's try and close our eyes here, push the knees wide, open the throat, chin up, no round in the spine, and give yourself a few deep breaths here in your Malasana Hindi squat. Keep breathing. A little bit longer, hold on to it. Eyes open if they were closed. Fingertips light on that. If you're a butterfly, you can join us. Pivot your feet parallel, so a straight line, and head down for a little rock out of those hips, side to side. Take your time, heel, toe, walk those feet into touch. Take a flat back as you inhale. Exhale, fold, reverse one, dive two, standing. Inhale, reach those arms up, palm touch, arch back, mini back bend. And exhale, hands heart center, and arms long down by sides. We'll be in standing for half moon to face you. Feet in line, double check. Not too wide, not too narrow, just like Mount Tadasana pose. Lift those arms when you're ready, inhale up. Now level ones, you can always go palms just to fully touch. Otherwise, interlace all your fingertips and release your index fingers and your thumbs. Arms straight to sky, take one more inhale, lengthen your body, folding to the right, exhale, fold. So we're entering in that side of the body, trying to keep our hips and our shoulders square, arms straight as they can. Option gaze up to the left so you have a nice open throat. You have one more breath to maybe go deeper. Float to center safely, inhale, lift again, extend a bit higher, and exhale, fold yourself down to the left with option to go gaze up to the right. One more breath to maybe go deeper. Inhale, lift center, gaze up, folding, exhale, down and through, hands through heart center, and fold the body down. Flat back as you inhale, exhale, fold, hands to mat, walk, step or jump, take your vinyasa flow, and option again, you can always wait in down dog. From that down dog, inhale, high to toes, float those knees to mat, untuck toes, enter your first child pose today, bum back, extending those arms out. Giving yourself a few deep breaths. Now, before we grab a water break, we'll take camel pose. From here, just safely roll yourself up, noticing that I'm still on knees. Push your bum up, and your knees will be hip width apart. Hip with the part with the knees, toes tucked under behind you. From here, take your palms, fingertips facing down onto your lower back. Tuck your elbows in so you're forcing your chest to be open. And option level one, gaze up. So this might already be enough for you. Feel free to stay. If you're ready to go deeper, more to an arch and back, take the gaze up to the ceiling. Let it start to float to the back wall behind you. Stay there only if you're level three and you're comfortable. Bring your hands onto those heels. Give yourself a breath there. If your hands did leave the lower back, place the hands on very slow. Control your body lifting. Flat back, untuck toes. Sit your bum down. Take the palms down onto the thighs, sit tall, inhale through your nose, open up and sigh the breath out. <sighs> Sip of water if needed. 
and we'll bring bum to mat for a little bit here. So meet me here when you're ready. Make sure you're in about the middle of the mat so you do have some space ahead of you. Level one, both posts, bring those feet out in front, bent knees, ground down through the sit bones, sit yourself back with a flat back and option will be to take those arms out shoulder level. Level one. If I want to lift those knees to 90, let's lift knees to 90. Stay here, maybe playing around a bit, peace fingers around those big toes, an option to try and extend those legs out. We'll control the balance through the core, the sit bones. If we do have those peace fingers on those big toes, let's go back to bent knees in your boat. One breath here. Straighten your legs, flex your feet, release your legs long down on the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up as you sit the sit bones to the mat and exhale. Reach forward and fold the body all the way down. Those legs are as long as they can. Feet flexed, compressing body down. No rush. Let yourself start to slowly compress. Giving yourself a few more deep breaths. When we lift, let's do a light rag doll. Slow, roll your body up. Gentle with head, let it float up last. Flat back, shoulders, inhale up to ears, hug those shoulder blades in, and exhale down and back. And one more time, inhale, lift, hug in and exhale, release. Legs to stay as is, right fingertips light on your mat beside you. Simple float, inhale, left arm up, and gently giving yourself a light side body open as those legs are still long. One deep breath. And left arm, float it so those fingertips are light on the left side of that, inhale. Right arm up and get a nice side bend to that left side. And lifting center, inhale, windmill that right arm, fingertips to mat. Take your legs, gently cross them, reach your hands forward, palms on mat, and meet me in tabletop position. So moving to those hands and knees on the mat, toes tucked flat. On your inhale, push your belly down, open your throat, we're in cow. Exhale, tuck and round to that spine, head is down in your cat pose. Inhale, belly pushes down, roll open to the throat. Exhale, tuck in and round full spine. Two more times, inhale, open to the chest. Exhale, tuck in, round spine, anchor cat pose. Last time here, inhale, push down and open. And exhale, tuck in and round. Releasing flat back, neutral spine, right leg extended, straight back in line with your hip. Gaze at top of mat when you're ready. Inhale, left arm straight forward. You're in your extended pointer pose. Give yourself a nice strong hold. Two breaths, tuck the belly. Entering that balance. Stay here or bend back, right leg at the knee. Reach your hand back, grab on top of foot ankle area. Arch your back, open your chest and option gaze up. So you're kicking into that palm. Leg back, arm long forward. Inhale, we're back in that extended pointer. Exhale, just your left palm on the mat. Left toes are tucked. Let's try and lift to three leg dog by gently floating that left knee up off the mat, opening up that right hip. High on toes, right knee and chest step through into runner's lunge. 
pivot that back foot parallel, heel to the mat, light on the fingertips. Inhale, let that front right leg string, fold your body down, head release. And exhale, bend in front knee, hips low, open chest. Light stretch, low, inhale. Straighten front leg, head down, hands up as they meet on shin area. And exhale, bend in front knee, push it low and open that flat chest forward. Two more, inhale, straight leg, full body. Exhale, push hips forward and open up. Last time here, inhale, straight leg folding. And exhale, press, open up that chest. Pivot back, toes, palms flat again. Option to enter a three-leg dog here by inhale, sending right leg back and up. Up to you, foot down, single leg lower, snake it high on back toes. Bend and elbows across that mat into up dog. And exhale, roll over toes, sit it down or facing dog. High on toes on the inhale. Exhale, float knees, mat, quick child pose, untuck, push back, stretch it out. We're taking our extended pointer flow and moving on to that left side before we come back onto the mat. Float the body forward, line yourself up with those palms and the knees, tuck the back toes. Left leg will extend straight back, hip level when you're ready. Gaze at the top of the mat and inhale. Send that right arm reaching and give it a strong hold in your extended pointer. Stay right here or give it a try. Back leg bend. Reach arm back, grab on top of foot area. Arch your back and open your chest. Leg long, arm forward, one inhale here, and just the palm, exhale to the mat. Back toes are tucked, give it a try if you can. If not, use both the knees, lift it off the mat, extend that left leg up, high on toes, knee in chest, and step it through on that mat. Knee over ankle, pivot back foot, parallel heel down, light on fingertips, front left leg, Inhale, straightening it and folding body. And exhale to bend in that knee, sink the hips low and open the chest. Inhale, straighten that left leg, fold it forward. And exhale, push low, open up. Two more, inhale, straight leg, fold. Exhale, nice hinge of those hips. And last time, inhale and exhale, press. Pivot back, toes, palms flat, option, take that three leg dog, inhale, send it up, and take your vinyasa flow high on toes, option, snake it, single leg it, and when you're ready, exhale, roll over, back into down dog. Awesome job, high on toes, inhale, float those knees wide on the mat, untuck toes, and get a nice wide leg child pose, body down to the mat. And whenever you're ready, roll safely up. If you need water, feel free to grab it. And we're gonna go long ways on your mat, so you might have to move yourself around to extend those legs wide. Ground on your sit bones. You never want to force the legs wider than what's good for you. So make sure the feet aren't stressed or shaking. Bring it in more near if you need. Feet flexed, toes up, sit bones grounded. And right now I am simply sitting up tall, flattening my back with the option to stay here. Or let's take a little walk forward, hands forward. Maybe going down onto my forearms, maybe letting that head fold in, or I can always move forehead onto those fists on the mat or all the way on mat. An option to send those arms reaching forward. 
giving yourself a few deep breaths here. Trying to take notice here to the feet. Are your feet inverting without noticing it? Try and flex them and force those toes up to the sky as best as we can. You are folded down in center, walk those hands in. We'll now be walking towards that right side. Right hand down on leg, anywhere you can reach or even option of forearm down on the inside of thigh. Left arm, inhale, send it wide left. And exhale, fold down, reaching your left fingertips towards those right toes, forcing the opening in the left side of your body and that left shoulder, and maybe even the level threes are grabbing onto that foot and keeping that shoulder lifted to the sky. Deep side opener, two deep breaths. A light windmill of body up, inhale, center first, just to fold yourself down to that left side, taking that left hand where you want it on the leg, maybe form in front of leg, right arm, inhale, reach it wide right, and exhale, sending those fingertips towards those left toes, rolling the shoulder open to the sky as best as we can, staying here, or again, you can always take it a bit lower as well, level two, three to grab on, to that foot. One more breath. And safe lift center, inhale, right arm, slow it down, lift the body, take hands, grab onto those thighs, gently bring them in. And you can shake out those legs long or do a little knee drop side to side, release that tension. Now we'll be going into a bit of a longer deep tissue hold in our frog pose today. Now, depending on what floor you're practicing on, if the ground is too hard and it causes pain or too much tension on the knee joints, you will be able to release down onto your back instead to release that pain where I will show you those options there as well. So first let's start hands and knees on mat. And again, if it doesn't work for you, I will give you direction to be on your back as well. From tabletop, I'll let my knees walk about as wide as mat. If I come into frog often, and I know I start a bit wider, then yes, the knees can be a bit wider than Turn your toes to face outward so it looks like your feet are flexed. Have your shins in line behind your knees and have your hips bump in line with those knees as well. So find that proper alignment. And then when you're ready, you can bring your forearms on the mat. So if I don't feel too much pain here, then yes, you can stay. And if you do ever wanna go lower, you can reach your arms through your legs and bring one side of the face on the mat. Again, if I feel too much pain in the knees and I just don't like it, carefully release out of this very slow to the belly and then you can gently roll yourself over onto your back. You can always go into more of a happy baby motion, but the knees will be slightly wider, same angle as your frog, shins in line with the knees, knees wide with the hips. You can always use the wall if you have one available, feet against wall in this positioning here, or you can go into a butterfly, knees wide, letting gravity do the work to release those knees down. So you do have lots of options and it might be more painful for some of us than others. Hold it as best as you can, whatever level you're at, doesn't matter. There's an option for everyone. You can try your best to hold here. A little bit longer than usual. You can do it I'm using blocks to release some tension from my knees because I happen to have some here. Okay. 
focus on that breath. As we've been staying home, we might have been neglecting some of our longer deep tissue holds. If you are resting just one side of the face on the mat, you can try and switch your gaze now. Even tension resistance on the neck, you're halfway there. Keep breathing. Now, as we release out of this, we need to do it very safe and careful and at a nice slow pace. So if you are on your back, you can just release the legs and windshield wiper side to side or shake them out. If you are in full frog, use your forearms to do a gentle crawl forward and you'll inch your legs in an inch at a time to float the belly safely on the mat and then guiding those legs in again an inch at a time. And we'll be bringing that belly to the mat if you're on your back. Feel free to stay there. It won't be too long. Belly down, shake it out a bit through those hips. One side of face on the mat. Arms long down by sides if you are on belly. Open palms and big toes in and heels to fall outwards. A little bit of time. Allow yourself to release from your foul cold. If you do have belly on mat, inhale, bring that forehead to the center of the mat. We'll place our palms right under our shoulders using our hands and knees to safely push the body up and enter your last child's pose from here, pressing back and reaching those arms forward. When you're ready, let your body lift. Grabbing anything on your way to your back as we'll be finishing up here. Meeting on back when you get there. Let's hug those knees in the chest and allow ourselves to rock the body out side to side. Body in center. Put that left sole foot on the mat. Outside right ankle places on left thigh. Use that right palm to push away that right knee, slight opening in hip, level one, figure four. Keeping body here or full figure four, inhale, float left knee up to 90. Reach your arms through your legs, interlace those fingertips or just grabbing onto the thigh or the shin, an option to have left leg extended up as well. Feel free to close your eyes again here.
And from that figure four, and cross those legs again, option to hug in and rock that body out for a little release. Right, so a foot will go to the mat. We'll be taking outside of that left ankle on that thigh. Left palm, little press, left knee out wide. Staying here if needed, or inhale, float that right knee to 90. Reach those arms through, grab on, and find your figure four. Let those legs uncross one more time. Rock it out with the option to go feet on mat and give yourself one more windshield wiper out side to side. And when you're ready to let yourself find a Shavasana, start to let it go. Close eyes. Give yourself this time to find your regular breath, releasing tension, keeping mind in a nice stillness. Option to stay right where you are. We do a slow flow, hands prayer, heart center, to keep them there, to float them to third eye in between the eyebrows, the brow bone, apply a light pressure. Final cleansing breath, big inhale through nose, open mouth, sigh, exhale, out the mouth. Thanking yourself for taking the time to come practice on your mat. And thank you all for joining me. Namaste.